In this video, I'll be explaining different types of shares you may see in your exam. Now, the company may issue ordinary shares, allowing the buyer buying their shares, becoming the shareholders, to have voting right, which means to attend the annual general meeting uh, with a group of shareholders in there, and then they have voting rights to vote for or against the amount of dividend payment or other major issues proposed by the board of directors. They've got voting rights because they control the business. They are the bosses of the business. Okay, they are the boss. That's it. Now, that's the ordinary shares. Your ordinary, yes, ordinary shareholders, you've got voting rights because that's quite ordinary, that's quite usual, isn't it? Now, a business may also issue preference shares. So when a business issues preference shares, the shares usually carry no voting right. And that means if you buy those shares, you can't attend the annual general meeting and to vote for or against the board's proposal. But if you're buying the preference shares issued by the company, you may get fixed dividend from the company. So usually there would be, for example, each share, the power value is $1 with 3% in there, and that means you can get 3% times $1, which means $0.03 as the fixed amount of preference dividend in each and every year from the company. And of course, if the company liquidates, which means go into trouble, uh, going bust in other words, the business has to repay the money to the debt holder with the remaining amount of cash paying to preference shareholders and finally to ordinary shareholders, which means uh, you've got the uh, preference to get those capitals uh, before the ordinary shareholders. And of course, if the preference shares are issued by the company are called redeemable preference shares at some point in the future. So for example, in 2030, you will repay or the company will repay the amount of capital uh, spent by the investor in the first place in 2030. Okay, so that's called the redeemable preference shares. A business may also issue other types of shares into different classes, for example the class A, class B and class C with different voting rights and also uh, different types of shares may be issued to the employees to motivate the employees to work in the company or to stay in the company but they carry uh, no voting rights or perhaps some voting rights, it really depends on how the company would regulate this issue in a contract. Okay, so uh, that's how it works. Uh, different types of shares here, and I hope you're absolutely happy. Now, of course, in the accounting course, uh, there will be different types of accounting treatment for different types of shares. I, I will explain them in much more detail in my actual course. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. APC, accounting for your future.